Well, it's surprising just how many people have had first-hand experience of this. And I'm now with Dawn Dines from Stamp Out Spiking. Thanks for talking to us this morning, Dawn. So what type of spiking should people be aware of? Well, there's a variety of spiking issues that are hitting across our communities. There's drink spiking in an alcoholic and a non-alcoholic drink. There's spiking of vapes, food. And a few years ago, we had the injection spiking incidents as well. So a number of different ways. But one of the things that surprises me the most, Dawn, has to be that the amount of people that report this to police or rather the amount that don't, because you've got some statistics on this. Yeah, it's really frightening. A couple of years ago, before this became a bit of a, you know, really hit the media, we done a national survey and over 97% of victims didn't actually report getting spiked to the police. So when we delved into that, we found out that people were ashamed, they were embarrassed. And actually, some people did come forward and they were accused of actually drinking too much. Yeah, it's horrible to hear people feel like that and they absolutely shouldn't do. But let's talk about something positive, Dawn, something I know you're very excited about, because there is a change in the law coming, something you've been passionate about for many, many years. Tell us more. I have. I'm so excited about this. So after campaigning for like two decades, now the law is going to be updated. It's going through Parliament as we speak. And the, the, they're quite antiquated laws of like 1861. So what that's going to mean to us is that spiking will now be recognised in law. It will be zero tolerance. And it actually also means really importantly is that there's going to be some mandatory training. So the security industry authority, all of the guest security officers who look after us every weekend, they're going to have to know the typical signs and symptoms of spiking so that we've got an immediate call to action so that we can safeguard as many men and women as we can across the country. Well, well done on that, Dawn. I know, as I say, you've been working on this for a long, long time, but you just touched on it there. In practical terms, then, that means that lots more people are going to be trained to, to know what to look out for to keep everyone safe. Definitely. And, you know, we've had quite a few independent bars and and even some restaurants as well that have actually taken our training, which is brilliant. We've got accredited training. We're working with the skills and education group. And once this training, you know, as soon as it goes out and gets across all our communities, we're going to have a much better chance of stopping people because they're going to know what people look like and what they act like. So we can actually intervenes to stop the perpetrators from taking people away when they've been spiked. And that could be so, so important, Dawn. So what sort of signs are there or are there any clear signs if someone has been spiked? Anything that we could look out for, perhaps if we're with a friend or family member that we're worried about? Definitely. And everybody, for all your viewers, you know, if you become, if your eyes get really, your eyesight gets really blurred and you start to feel really drunk really quickly and so you feel like you're sort of having an out of body experience, you need to get to a, a member of staff or you need to get to a security officer or a friend really quickly because these date rape drugs, they, once they take effect, they leave you compliant, you can't put up a fight. And the worst thing is you're left with no memory. So for any of your viewers out there, if they have been affected by any spiking related issues, if they could please go onto our website because we're doing another national survey, the victim's journey, and then we will have that evidence to go back to the government to find out exactly where along that journey we're letting victims down. Well said, Dawn. And just before I let you go, Dawn, if anyone's watching this thinking, well, it's only a bit of fun, isn't it? I know you've got some strong words to say to them. I really do. You know, but what we're seeing on our streets is that people are being chemists. They're going out and they're, you know, we use the word spiking. They're actually poisoning people. Mm. So if you're thinking that this is a joke, you know, people actually, they wet themselves. They're violently sick. They go in and out of consciousness. Mm. This is no joke. And it really needs to be taken seriously. We need people to be calling others out because people surely have got to know other people that are doing these crimes. Well said, Dawn. It's certainly not a joking matter in any way, shape or form. Thank you for joining us. Now, how a DNA sample...